amazing. It's literally so pretty. Everything around it is perfect. Passion. Passion. Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. But... <laughs> I've always had pretty high standards for Parker and whatever girl he ends up with, but actually when Parker, when Sydney came into the picture, it was pretty soon that I began to wonder if he was good enough for her, not the other way around. <laughs> and I'll never forget the day we were standing in Forever 21 and we both were standing around a coat rack, neither one of us were shopping, and you said, I think I have a thing for Sydney. And I was like, no dip. We all know you have not hit it. It was totally obvious. We all knew it at this point. And I was like, yeah, dude, go for it. And our lives have never been the same since. And I've been one of the, the many here to have known you before we knew you two together. And I can confidently tell you that you make him a better man every single day. You are by far his better half. <laughs> but we love the other half too. We love you. Uh, so, Cindy, thank you for always being that annoying little sister. And uh, Parker, good luck. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm married. I'm literally married. About to see her for the first time. I'm just already crying. Before I even see you. <laughs> oh my gosh. You look amazing. You look so good. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> Sydney Ann, from the moment I met you, I knew you were someone special. The first thing I thought was that you were way out of my league. I was falling for you, but I didn't think I would have a chance. You were the whole package, gorgeous, Instagram famous, <laughs> a cheerleader, and everyone knew and loved you. Little did I know, all it took was sharing one chicken nacho appetizer at Applebee's. After that, I knew that I had to have you. Almost three years ago, I was laying in bed in July 2019 when God revealed to me I was in love with you. He showed me how you were kind to me, how you were wise, how you prayed for me, 
how you made me laugh, and how you served the Lord. I knew that these core things were what I wanted in my future husband, and this was the moment I knew I was in love for the first time ever. If you know Parker, you know that he is thoughtful. You also know that he is intentional. Sometimes you could also describe him as being a little particular. <laughs> He's a man who knows what he wants. Whether that's the best pair of shoes or the, or the best food, only the best will do for you. But that same intentionality also extends to the way he loves and wants the best for Sydney and the way he boldly seeks after the Lord's heart. Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife finds a treasure, and he receives favor from the Lord. And if you know Sydney, you know that she is the treasure that God was talking about in that verse. She's pure gold. I think we all can agree that Parker is blessed. God's desire is to bless your marriage. If I can encourage you to do one thing, it would be this draw close to God because the nearer you are to him the closer you will be to each other As you now start a clean slate together, Bob Ross said, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. We love you, we're so happy for you, and we'll always be rooting for you. Here we are over a thousand days later, literally over a thousand, I was shocked looking that up. Finally putting a ring of commitment on that love, and I've never been so sure about something in my life. You were the one who was meant for me.